Eugene taught me how to cornice. Now that I know, I think I know a simpler way to explain it to you. Stick around if you want to see that. This is like a smooth Rolls Royce compared to his. Instead of getting this van, that was the type of car I was gonna get. We are rolling. Coming to you in surround sound. Welcome back to The Max Show. With your special guest, Big G. All right, now that the intro is out of the way, let's get down to the work. My name's Gary. If this is the first time to the channel, welcome. And I invite you to subscribe down below. Eugene over there, he's checking his tape measure, checking it twice, making sure it's all marked off. He likes to mark the back of the tape measure off. It helps him read it. Are you rolling, James? Are you sure? I don't want to get to the end of the job and be like, oh, oh no, it's recording. Oh. Welcome back. We're back at this job. I showed you a little bit of this earlier. We have a bit of a strip out. Hallway, walls, living area, kitchen area, little dining area. That's it. waiting for me to hold tape measure so we're gonna get right into it we've got this 90 mil cornice going on if you just have a look over there and this video this video is gonna be a sanding the ceiling installing the 90 mil cornice we're gonna show you how to cut how to measure and how to install it we're just gonna use do everything by hand we're not gonna use the compound tube with the the applicator, if you want to see that video, click here. And then this corner cement dries really fast, we're hoping within a couple of hours today, I'm gonna to sand, Eugene's gonna cut corners. Oops, sorry. And then we're gonna use my sprayer and we're gonna, the Graco handheld sprayer, we're gonna spray right around the, all the ceilings. And that's just gonna save us cutting it in. And so we'll have a roller out in the meantime. I'll quickly roll the ceilings as well. We'll try and show you that all day today and still have enough time to pick up the kids. Just gonna try and do everything really fast. We're not gonna slow down, we'll see what makes it into the video or not. We're gonna show you pretty much how to complete these ceilings from, from here, the painting side, the sanding side. Bigger. I like to have all my tools with me. I don't need the hammer, so I'll get rid of that. And if you're wondering, you don't need to fill this gap here. Different fire regulations to maybe in your area, but here that doesn't have to be filled, but it is getting filled with the same material that's made out of the plasterboard, the drywall. It's a plaster paper face gypsum cornice that goes up. So you're not gonna get bugs, you're not gonna get drafts or anything like that. And while we're here, I do like to measure 90 mil down. 90 mils. We should be pretty right. Once you've done it a fair few times, kind of know how it sits. We'll have a couple of tester pieces with us. So wherever we start over here, if we start over in that corner, we can put a tester piece in and make sure when we get back around to it, it doesn't need any adjusting for it to fit because it'll start to go off the minute you put it on the wall. So Eugene's going around, we've just measured everything. Eugene's going around with his notepad and he's just writing all the measurements down. And then once he's done that, he'll get his corners box right here. He'll get his corners box and he'll be able to cut that. And we're gonna show you kind of how Eugene taught me how to corners. Now that I know, I think I know a simpler way to explain it to you. So. Stick around if you want to see that. But first, while Eugene's doing that, I've got some sanding to quickly do. And this is the Makita drywall sander. I love it. 
I used a friend's sander the other day and he swears by his sander. I'm not gonna say what brand. It's not one of the best brands. But this is like a smooth Rolls Royce compared to his. Got a good little place to stick the head of this in there. Keeps it safe. It doesn't get banged around because you don't want anything nasty happening to the head of that and you don't want it out of sync because that would probably cost a bit to fix. This is the 18 volt. This vacuum is also 218 volt. You can actually power it by batteries. But we've, we've got it plugged in. Three bars. Now we connect the hose up. Oh, that's right, we've got this issue here. We lost the uh, plug for that. That's the ceilings all sanded, except for down there where Eugene's working. Now I'll show you the good thing about having one of these stops. You can actually change that and put it wherever you want by spinning this around. So whatever you feel comfortable with. So we're gonna put it there to the side. Actually, I think I feel comfortable with it being at the top. I'll show you why. I'm going to show you how it goes into the corners here, right here.
Now, that's not completely done. Obviously, because you can't, you're not getting all the way to the corner. Still a little bit. Okay, you're still gonna need a sanding block to go down the inside quickly. But then, that's it. So all you gotta do. But you always wanna run your hand down the corner. Make sure it's perfect. Make sure you'll stand up nice. And make sure it's sanded right to the very corner. Because once the undercoat goes on, everything will be seen. So make sure you feel right to the corner and everything's beautiful.